first graders, I hope you relax, you watch TV, you play video games, you share with your parents. I love you guys, love to see you tomorrow. I will see you in Zoom, all of you. I hope you will connect to Zoom tomorrow, please, because Teacher Rose is going to have conversation with you. In this moment, we're going to see that you have a book that is called Phonics. And remember, last time we were seeing some words in phonics. So today we're going to see the pronunciation of some words in phonics. We have long vowel sounds, and long vowel sounds is when the I is pronounced like the American alphabet. I. What letter is this? I. So we say kite. Kite. And if we say that the word ends in an E, we say I. Kite. Long vowel sound. Kite. We have the other one that is pine. See? The letter I. Pine. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That's the I in American alphabet. Okay? Pine. So what is the sound of this one? Right, like an I. Right. Okay. Fine. Fine. This is the letter what? In an alphabet. A. So the first letter of the alphabet in English is A. English alphabet, we have A. Cape. Cape. The other one is? The English alphabet, A, mate, mate. The other one, U, U, cute. The next one, tape, tape. It's an A. So, if the word ends in the letter E, see, all of them end in the letter E, E, we pronounce this like an in English alphabet. The English alphabet, I. Kite, pie, and this is silent. We do not pronounce E. We say kite, pie, ripe, pie, cape, mate, cute, and tape. Okay? Because it lends with the letter E. But the E is silent. We do not say the letter E. It's mute, muda, mute. Okay? And we say kite, papalote. We have pine, pin. We have right, maluru. Like the, the, we say the right plantain, platano maluru, the right plantain is right. So it's not green, it's right. So we have pine. And we have bueno or fino, like you say, how are you? And you say, fine, thank you. And you, I'm fine, I'm okay. Is the same as okay or fine. Cape, okay? Remember cape is what we put here. We saw that before all this started in the book. Cape. And we have mate, compañero. Cape, capa. We have mate, compañero, mate. Cute, bonito. It's, this is not in the book, but I added one more. There you go. Cute, lindo. And tape, cinta. Okay? So this is the long vowel sound. Long. The American alphabet is long. So we pronounce it like this. Now, we continue with the long, short vowel. What is the short vowel? It's like the Spanish alphabet. In Spanish, E, like in Spanish. So we say kit, kit. We say pin, E, pin. We say rip, rip, like in Spanish, E, rip. Fin, fin. We say cap. We say mat. We say Cut. We say tap. We, this one would be not cut. 
because it would be an A. So we eliminated this one. We're not going to say that one, okay? So this would be, let's say another word that is short would be cat, okay? So we'll put it there, cat. Give me a second. We're going to put here the word cat. That would be like a Spanish cat. And that would be, well, you know what is cat? Cat is gato, okay? So we say cat, like in Spanish. Okay, so let's see. Kite, a kit, pardon, kit, a medicine, es una medicine kit, es un botiquín. Okay, a medicine kit. A pin, casilla o alfiler. A rip, rasgado, ripped. We have fin, like the fin of the fish, the fin of the fish. We have cap, we put the cap. When we go to watch a song, a baseball game, they use caps. A mat is where you clean your feet. And we put a mat in the entrance of the door, mat. And we have cat, cat, and we have tap. So if we put an E, it's like American alphabet. If we eliminate the E, it's like a Spanish alphabet. Okay? Now we are going to see plurals. Now in plurals we're going to see mouse is one. Okay, so we have a mouse. I'm going to show you a few plurals. Mouse, mouse. And if you say this, we say mouth. Stick out your tongue. Mouth. But if we have this, mouse. And then we have mice. So Mouse is one, mice are many, mice. How many mice do we have here? One, two, three, mice, okay? We have the word singular, child, one, child. Children, many. Let's count the children that are in this picture. One, two, three, four, five children. Five children, okay? I don't know how many children are in your house in this moment, how many siblings you have, brothers or sisters, maybe three, maybe two, maybe no children, only one child, all right? Butterfly, butterfly is one, and we say butterflies are many. One butterfly, many butterflies. So this is just one. So they say butterfly, one. Okay, we have a baby. Now, how many babies do we have here? One. Okay, this is a baby. Look at the word baby. So, if we say the plural, we eliminate the Y and we put in I, E, S. So, we're going to put in here, what is the plural of baby? We're going to put babies. Okay, this is the plural of baby, babies. All right. We're going to put here the plural butterfly. Butterfly. Butterflies. That's the plural. We have sandwich. How many sandwiches do we have? So we have one sandwich, many sandwiches. All right. How many sandwiches do we have here? Let's count together. One, two, three, four sandwiches. And they are delicious. They look like bologna sandwich, mortadela. I love bologna sandwich, okay? We have dress. What is the plural of dress? When we have dress, we have the plural dresses. See, we have ES, dresses. Here, we change the Y to I. Dress, one, dresses, plural. Uh, teacher Rosie loves to wear dresses, as you know. I love the dresses. And here we have one more. Fox. See? Fox. This is the plural of fox. Foxes. Foxes. How many foxes do we have here? Let's count. One, two, three. Foxes. I guess. Oh, we have four. One, two, three, four.